Selling Mods. Here is another easy to follow install video on a new product. Now this product would be pretty important because if you're installing a lot of electrical accessories like halos or underglow kit or anything that draws real power, you've probably noticed by now that the factory Polaris slingshot battery is a steaming pile of For the 2015 slingshot, Polaris used a Group 34 full-sized automotive battery that they seemingly sourced from a junkyard. For the 2016 and newer slingshots, Polaris uses a small, puny excuse for a battery that you might commonly find in a real motorcycle. The good thing about that is, is that you know it's not a worthy battery going into it. Thanks, Polaris. So what we've done in the aftermarket is that we've stepped up and came out with a product that allows you to install a great battery in your slingshot. Now what you're looking at are custom battery trays designed by one of our top manufacturers, Trick LED. And what they allow you to do is install the mother of all batteries in your slingshot, the Yellow Top Optima. Now we'll talk about the Optima here in a few minutes, but I want to go over a few details about both battery trays. Now this battery tray was designed specifically for the 2015 slingshot. And this battery tray was designed for newer slingshots that came stock with a smaller battery. Now the battery tray for the 2015 slingshot obviously comes with everything you need to install it, plus this mounting bracket that holds the battery secure so that it can't move around or vibrate and cause damage to the battery. For the 2016 slingshot, the battery tray looks slightly different because of the different design in the slingshot. It also comes with extra battery terminals that actually fit a full-size battery like the Optima. Now let's briefly talk about this Optima battery. If you're going to leave your slingshot pretty much stock and not add any electrical accessories, but you need to replace your battery, you can save some money and buy a Red Top Optima, which would simply be a good direct replacement if all you care about is starting your slingshot. But if you're going to go to car shows or group meetups and you want to show off all of your aftermarket lights or run your sound system when the slingshot isn't running, you're going to want this bad boy yellow top. It's a true dual purpose starting and deep cycle battery designed specifically for vehicles running aftermarket accessories. Now be warned, this bad boy is heavy. This sucker weighs about 45 pounds and it's a bit pricey too. But you get what you pay for and the bottom line is, if you're serious about adding accessories, this is the battery to have. They're readily available and a quick internet search will likely help you find one locally. Last thing I want to mention before we get started on the install video is if you decide to go a different direction than the Optima and you want an entirely different battery, make sure the battery you get does not exceed these dimensions here. Now if you need to pause the video and write this down, make sure that you do because if you go over these dimensions, the battery is not going to fit. With a flat screwdriver, remove these two pins here. Then with a T40 torque bit, remove these two bolts here. Once you've removed the pins and bolts, remove the access panel to the battery. Remove this rubber block holding the battery to the tray. Now I'm going to disconnect the battery's ground wire from the frame. Now I'm going to slide the battery slightly to give me more clearance to remove the positive battery terminal. Now I'm going to tuck the power wire out of the way and the battery should slide straight out. Remove the protective film and install the new battery tray. 
Be sure this curve on the tray is facing you so that you know the battery tray wasn't installed upside down. Next we're going to install the adhesive rubber foam along this edge. Peel the backing off the foam and place it on the edge. Now install your rubber trim over the adhesive foam. Now reinstall your negative battery terminal. I also have the other end of the cable attached to the battery tray to see if the cable is long enough to allow me to reinstall the battery. I got it in there but it was a bit tight. It might be easier to reinstall that end of the cable once the battery is on the tray. Now slide the battery back far enough so that there's room to reinstall the positive terminal. Now recenter your battery and make sure it's pushed back against the rubber trim. Now install your spacer. Then install one of the lock washers. Then the hold down bracket. Make sure this notch for the negative battery cable is on the far end. Then install the regular washer. Then the other lock washer. Then reinstall your factory nut and snug everything down. Alright guys, you just saw how easy it was to install the battery tray for the 2015 slingshot. The battery tray for the 2016 and newer slingshots installs pretty similarly. Only this is the bracket that snugs down the battery rather than that small bracket you saw in the video. As always guys, thanks for tuning in and be sure to subscribe to our channel. And if you think these products are right